Hello everybody, it's me, Get Dave Dio, and it's channel update time. Broken video capture card edition. Battletech, uh, kind of on hiatus. We'll talk about that in a moment, if I remember. I might not. Um, also started Dark Souls and got two episodes in, and a couple of people noticed like, hey, the audio is a little bit choppy in spots, and things were weird, and the short version, and this may not seem connected, is the capture card I was using it's basically toast. It might be more of a software thing, but it was not capturing anything anymore. And it was like, I would start the recording software and like just opening it once would just brick the entire computer. And it had a tendency to crash and a lot of things would go wrong. So I just declared it dead and ordered a new one, which is now sitting on my desk. You might say, that's good news. No, it needs to be inside my computer, but I got an Elgato. HD 60 Pro. So we'll plug that thing in and should be able to have some very nice recordings. Originally, I, I used to use the capture card to record even my desktop stuff, but because it's been so unstable and didn't work particularly well, I've been using OBS. So we should be able to have some higher settings and so on. So that's nice because it doesn't have to double the workload of the computer. So anyway, good news. So I started doing the Final Fantasy IV free enterprise randomizer. I am almost done that now. I just recorded episode eight and I'll probably only do one or two more. It's basically, I could probably beat the game whenever I want. And I, I, there's a good chance I'll just do that in episode nine and then we'll be back at Dark Souls. Uh, I just have to figure out the capture card, which I'm hoping is easy. Anyway, Dark Souls will be back. A whole bunch of people keep sending me messages, be like, oh, I didn't expect you to finish it, but you know, could you play a third episode? It's coming. That's what's going on with the channel. Sorry about the disruption with the Dark Souls and Capture Card event, but I'm hoping this is a good thing overall. And I got a good price on the HD60, so that's nice. In other news, sad, not super sad, but kind of sad news about the game. I started a company called Reclamation Games. I'm working on a video game. The, the company is working on a video game, and some really exciting stuff has happened. Um, did another round of recordings at a different studio just to sort of um, compare what we get from the two of them and then make a final decision because we did just like some piano solo stuff at each place and um, yeah decided to try one one other studio and once we get the mastered one from the second one we'll compare and make a decision second one's a bit more expensive but might be might be better that's not the sad thing the sad thing is I didn't get a ton done this month I was hoping because I had two really good months. I was hoping to get a whole bunch of stuff done and I'm not making any excuse. I am just telling you what happened. A pipe burst <laughs> connected to the, the shower. I basically lost two weeks of development time. I like having a bathroom uh, and there is one other one, but uh, it's good having the main one going. Uh, it's not quite done, but that kind of derailed things for a little while because it was like, okay, honey, I'm okay, Mrs. Get Dave, I'm going to go work on the video game. And she'd be like, yo, uh, the water's off right now. No one can go to the bathroom. No one can shower. No one can drink. It's like, oh, I guess I'll fix that first. So that kind of went on. There's a lot of demolition. in. Anyway, I'm not making an excuse, but that did derail things. So I was, things were going reasonably well for the first half of the month and then kind of fell apart. Uh, for the last two weeks of it. So that's why it's a little bit sad, a little bit disappointing. Um, a, a bunch of stuff that's not easy to quantify did get done that didn't get logged in the ticketing system. But at the end, it was only 88 story points for the month. Um, I had had like a couple in a row with over 100 and over 100 is good. One other thing, I've explained my estimation system before, but one of the rules is, so if you ever estimate a task and it's only like one point then you can probably lump it in with another one and if you ever estimate it and it's um above 20 you probably need to subdivide it and i knew that and i just said like yeah this is a 40 point task and so part of also the problem is i got a good chunk of work done on it on a 40 point task that i should not have done and should have subdivided but i didn't finish it so zero of those story points get counted in the total. So it might have boiled out to like 108 if like it got halfway done, but the metrics uh, did not super look flattering this month. And again, uh, things got interesting. I still kept the chain going and worked on the game every day, but not a lot of work towards yeah the back half. Anyway, that's 
mostly sorted out now. There we go. That's what happened. It was, I mean, I don't want to say bad, but I, I had really high hopes, unrealistically high hopes. Um, so I'm transferring those to June. So I'll get back to you in early July and we'll see how things are sounding then. But the goal is to, yeah, I'll tell you, it's super ambitious, but to have, I'm, I'm trying to get a vertical slice done on the game quickly. So in the next few months, and a vertical slice is like a fully complete area of the game. And it's the first biome of this game. You can think of, it's a Metroidvania game, story-driven Metroidvania. So you can think of a game like Super Metroid, where any Metroid game is being divided into biomes. So like in the case of Super Metroid, there's Criteria and then Norfair, which is the fiery place, and Brinstar, which is very vegetative, and Meridia, which is underwater. Like So those are the different biomes. The game has seven biomes. One of them, like the entrance one, is more like tutorialish and is maybe has less character than the others because, again, it's more normal. <laughs> and then you start getting into more exotic st locations. But uh, the goal is to get that one done. And so two really big things have to happen. One is I have to finish uh, the skin job on it. And the other is I have to finish all the enemies and content. I don't want to say everything else is done, but a really large part of everything else is done. Like, so the goal is to get the visual structure of the area done this month. And we'll see how that goes. Um, I, I could see it going kind of sideways because I don't really know how many like for example environment objects i need you know it's like okay if you have an office then you need to mesh some bookshelves and a table and some chairs and a desk so it, a little bit of it depends on how much of that sort of stuff i get into as i make decisions on like what i want each room to look like a big thing in metroidvania games is if there's a room where you need the player to remember um, so if it's at an important intersection or something like that you need to have something to make it memorable so usually that involves making a landmark. And so that involves 3D modeling, basically. So that's the, the sort of stuff I'm going to try to get done this month. And it's kind of scary, but I told you, and we'll find out how it all goes next month. If you are interested in the supporting the creative projects that are going on in the channel, you can do it just by watching the videos. That's cool. You can also become a supporter on Patreon. And speaking of which, I remembered there was one Patreon thing I was thinking. So... Every once in a while, not very often, but occasionally I abandon a Let's Play for various reasons. And I was thinking about maybe as a Patreon incentive uh, at a certain level, we would do like a stream that I'd call like The Leftovers or The Crumbs or something like that. And it would be all about just finishing up some of those ones. And, you know, like the first Friday of every month or something. Or I don't know, something like that. Let's sit down and do a couple hour streams and just try sawing off some of those loose threads. Uh, maybe, that might be kind of fun. Let me know what you think, if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, and I would port them over to video, or to YouTube because a lot of people are like, that's 2 a.m. in my time zone. But uh, food for thought. All right, and one more thing before I forget. I got an email from Stardock. A little while ago they asked, you know, do you want to plug the new Gaussive 3 version that's coming out. And I had some goodwill that I was feeling towards them because of Sorcerer King. So I said, yes. And there was no real like financial incentive or anything to that, but it happened. And so there was a little bit of a business relationship there. Uh, I got an email from the same person at Stardock and they're like, hey, we're doing a promotion for Ashes of the Singularity Escalation, which I've never played, but we'll check out. Off-World Trading Company, which I have also not played, but lots of other people like. And Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion, which I friggin' love. And they're doing a promo from June 7th to 20th, where it's 20 bucks for the gold edition of each. So, and I have a, like a referral link I can give you. So I get a little bit of the money from the sale. So that's kind of a neat thing. I don't feel like it's me selling out because A, I'm telling you, and B, uh, at least one of them is a game I believe in. Also, you can get all three for 50 bucks. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if you're interested, I'll put a little link in a comment that I'll pin. So you'll see it down below and it'll have the information and the referral link. And so if you buy the game on that link, a little bit goes to me. And yeah, normally I get a lot of business opportunities that I ignore because I want to be indie and not a sellout, man. No, just because I don't believe in it. But Sins of a Solar empire rebellion for 20 bucks is a cause i can get behind because that is 
Uh, it's half RTS, half 4X, but that might be the last great strategy game that's been made. I don't think I'd rank Civ 5 or 6 against it. It would be Civ 4, then Sins, and we are still waiting. That That's my opinion on it anyway. There's been some good tactical games, a little bit of a renaissance there, but not so much with the strategy. So kind of a neat thing, and we were talking about ways to help out the channel, so that's a way you could do it too. And I might do a couple of videos of these. The opportunity is kind of presenting itself because console recording is being so difficult. And I did one to two episodes of Dark Souls, depending on how I edit it. But there's still some some audio issues. So I'm waiting on a cable to arrive. So maybe that will fix things still. I don't know. There's so many points in the chain that could be causing the problem. So fun facts. So anyway, let me, know, let me know what you think of that. Uh, if you have any requests for Let's Plays after Dark Souls, the next one I have on my I totally want to do it docket is Mega Man 11 comes out on October 2nd. So we've got a lot of time in between. Yeah, lots of things to think about, but let me know if you have any requests. There's definitely some time before the RPG Bonanza hits, and we'll find out more about that at E3, I suppose. So thanks for watching. If you yeah like the creative stuff going on at the channel, you can support through all these means. And thanks for thanks for sticking around. I'll see you in the next Let's Play.